the newest update on my old Ruger 1022. Well, I actually did break apart through all those rounds that I found. Um, obviously, there's a couple of other parts I was talking about before. Like, my guy rod bi binds really bad. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to move like this, just nice and free, but it don't. It binds. I don't think this needs to be replaced yet, but it's getting close. The next problem I ran into is my extractor. It's completely wore out. It actually moves. Not supposed to happen. And this is why it's important. All right, for this demonstration, I have to use live ammunition. I apologize. There's just no other way to perform this test. So at this point, if you would like, pause the video and go put on your Kevlar helmets and bulletproof vests. But basically what's happening here, for the ejector to work, the extractor has to hold onto the casing long enough to actually hit the ejector. So that's around chambered. And notice how it's just laying on top of the magazine now. Let's try that again. The extractor isn't holding on to it at all. Let me pull it out for you real quick so you can see. Let's put the camera back where it belongs. So the Ruger 1022 uses multiple ex ejectors. Magazine, and then if you're single feeding it, there's one right here on the trigger group. So let's pretend you're having stovepipe after stovepipe. Well, the first thing you're gonna do is try a new magazine. If that don't fix it, try another new magazine. <laughs> Find one that you know is in working order. Find one that if somebody who's Ruger 1022 that you know works just fine, they don't have stovepipes, pop it in yours and see if you have stovepipes. If you still have stovepipes, you may have the problem I ran into. So this is your extractor. It needs to hang on to the ammunition long enough for the ejector to be able to hit the round to kick it out of the receiver. What you're looking for... is this little hook right here should be flush or a little bit recessed from your lip right here. This way it can hold on to the project or the cartridge. See how mine's got all that space and the round can just flop around and nothing really happens there? This one has an issue. So put your cartridge in there and see if it'll stay in there. Like... Ideally, it would stay in there and you'd be able to tip it upside down or move the bolt around or whatever and it won't fall out because this will hold it. Then eventually what's going to happen <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to hold it there since my extractor isn't doing the job. The magazine would come up it would hit the back of the cartridge and it would flip out of the receiver. Mine doesn't work, so it just drops it on there and due to recoil and just stupid luck, most of my casings were coming out at about 25% stovepipes. 